everyone, today you'll learn how to do reverse throw and go trick with your paraglider, speed wing, mini wing or basically whatever wing you have, so make sure you stay tuned. Whoa. Why is it so important to know that trick? Well, imagine there's a fire on your takeoff, so obviously you can't place your wing on the ground and so throw and go is the only option you have. Whoa. <laughs> or let's say it's been raining, it's all wet and dirty and you don't want to mess up your whole wing. Ooh. There's another big reason why I like that throw and go trick so much and that's because takeoffs are sometimes very tricky with all the branches and weird stuff like that on the ground, you know, that, that causes problems. All of your lines and glider gets tangled all around and that's not good and with throw and go you're avoiding all that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you my favorite way of doing that throw and go takeoff trick and you can simply learn how to do it just by following these few very important but super easy steps that I'm gonna show you right now. Let's go! Let's start with two very important things that you must know. First one is that it will be much easier to do this trick with smaller and lighter wings. What I mean by that is that bigger and heavier wings are much more complicated to throw and play around with. So I just want you to know that. And the second very important thing is wind. Now wind is your friend as long as you know how to work with it. So lower wind conditions means that you have to be more active in in the trick, which means more power at throwing, pulling and all that stuff. As if the wind is stronger, all you have to do is throw and then little few adjustments and the wind will do the rest for you. Okay, step number one, prepare your wing. Make sure it's nicely opened, all the lines are nice and clean, nothing tangled around, so basically it's ready to fly. And then you can start collecting all your lines. Make sure you keep A risers separated from the rest of the lines and then keep going all the way up to the wing. When you have your wing in a nice little mushroom, grab all the lines in one hand and only keep A risers in the other hand. Step number two is to swing your wing. And all you want to do here is basically find that perfect momentum for throwing and releasing your glider, which is step number three. So start off by doing nice gentle swings and when you feel it, when you feel it ready, bam, throw it. And keep in mind, you only throw your wing and these lines, but keep ace still in your hand because you'll need those in the step number four. Let's go. One thing to remember, if wind is strong, you don't have to swing and throw that hard, so keep that in mind. Master that swinging and throwing part, it's time to jump to step number four, which is adding some pressure and input on your A risers. Remember when I told you to always keep those A risers separated in one hand and never release those? Well, now it's time to use them. Come on.
Okay, when you throw your wing, you also want to start pulling your A risers. Now, how much pressure and input is needed? Well, that completely depends on wind conditions. If wind is strong, be gentle. You don't have to pull strong. As if the wind is slow, you have to pull pretty strong. And also, little tip right there. As soon as you throw your wing, also start moving backwards with your whole body to build that extra momentum and power that's needed. When wing is inflated, be ready to start controlling it, which is also our final step, step number five, control. And at this point, one of the possible options are that you can already have your toggles around your wrist, which will give you instant control. Basically that's it, final corrections on your A-risers, on your brakes, make sure you keep everything in motion and bam, here you go, you're the winner! Let's go through all in one. Step number one, prepare your wing. Make sure it's all nice and ready to fly. Step number two, swing your wing. Get that perfect momentum for step number three, which is throwing your wing. And then followed by step number four and adding some input and pressure on your A-risers to help your wing inflate. And then final step, step number five, which is some final touches and final control before you fly. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave your ideas and questions in the comments below. I'll be so happy to see your feedback. Also, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, turn on notification bell, share this video with your friends and, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>